All right, let's take a look at the last example for Unit 7, Lesson C, Example 4, Changing the Radius. So a company wants to double the volume of a can of graham cracker crumbs. So we want to double the volume, okay? So that's our total volume. The current container has a radius of 3 inches and a height of 8. Um, so the current container has a radius of 3 and a height of 8. So I'm just going to write down what I know so far. Mr. Smith suggests doubling the radius. So we want to double the radius, which is 6, but we're going to keep the same height. So he thinks if we double the radius and keep the same height, that this will double the, double the volume. So let's see if that statement is true. Will Mr. Smith's idea work? So first let's do um, the volume of this container. So V equals pi times radius squared times height. Don't forget to do exponent first. So volume equals pi times 9 times 8. And then I'm going to go ahead and put 9 times 8 together. So volume is 72 pi. So for the current container, our volume is 72 pi inches cubed, or cubic inches. So what Mr. Smith wants to do, he wants to double um, the volume. Okay, now Mr. Smith only doubled the radius, so let's see if that worked. So if we double the volume, let's take a look here. Um, double the volume would mean to take 72 times 2, so we're trying to get 144 pi. That's what we want when they mean that we want to double the volume. So let's figure out if we plug in these numbers if we will get 144 pi. Okay, so V equals pi times 6 squared times 8. So radius squared times the height. 6 squared is 36. And then I need to do 36 times 8. So 36 times 8 volume is 288 pi inches cubic. Well, we didn't quite double the 72 because we thought our answer should be 144, but actually by doubling the radius, um, we actually um, <clears throat> kind of quadrupled that. It's four times this amount. So this is actually too big. So in order to double the volume, we don't want to just double the radius because keep in mind, we are, after we double the radius, we have to square it because that's what the exponent is. And when we square a number, it gets even, even bigger. So will Mr. Smith's idea work? No, <clears throat> because, so I'm just gonna write this B slash C for because, because you are still squaring the radius. So yes, we did double the radius, but then in the formula we have to square it, which made it a little too big. Um, so because we still have to square the radius after doubling it. So nope, it won't work. Now, let's, uh, we did volume or ratios last unit. So let's look at the new volume is 288 and um, oh, just a second, sorry, I'm writing this down wrong. Let me move over here, we have a little bit more room. So we had three to six. We thought if we doubled this, then we would double this. And we wanna see, does this ratio work? Well, when I plug these in, um, I get 6 times 72 is 432, but 3 times 288 is 576. So these are not equal ratios. So when they're not equal, we know that the volume did not double. Even though we doubled the radius, the volume did not double, um, given what our answers were for the formula, and then also when we compared the two ratios.